Hello my loves, it's great to be here with you again and today in this video we will be talking about nose. How to massage nose to preserve its shape, to drain a little bit of lymph if you have a tendency to have swollen nose and to make sure that you are not going to lose the width of your lip, meaning plumpiness of your lip, because the muscles between the nose and the lip it is responsible for how your lips are going to look over time. So if you guys are interested in this subject, please stick with me till the end of this video, because we're going to be talking about this area a lot. Hello, my loves. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elena Pahava, and I'm a licensed esthetician for almost 30 years. In this video, we will be talking about how to massage lips during the facial and this is for my aesthetic students and for yourself at home and that is for every other student i have so i have a two groups of students i have a students who are just professional estheticians and people who do facial exercises and this particular uh, subject is going to be you can apply in both cases for your clients and for yourself so basically we will be talking about nose but we cannot absolutely cannot talk about nose without talking about sphincter in our mouth so our mouth we have lola here again has this muscles right here the round muscles they're called sphincter because they can contract and they can release you can contract and they can release the muscles there i don't know how well you see lola but they go around the mouth and they're very thin muscles. It's like a family, like a group of muscle that layer by layer goes around our lips and allows us to chew, to contract and to release. Now, what happens with age? Because some of us, a lot of us, are storing the stress in our mouth, in the chewing tendons, and as this, our muscles around the lips, they become contracted. So imagine those um, uh, curtains that we have on the windows that you can open them and they're going to be nice and open. So you're going to close the window and then to open the window, you have to pull them down and they're going to come together. So with the same principle, the sphincter muscles, the thin layer of muscles around our mouth comes together. When it comes together, it contracts itself, it becomes shorter and starts to pull down, inverted. What happens? You're losing the width of your lip. And I will show you the exercise, massage technique, what to do for yourself and the client in the room to reopen the lips, to give your lips some width, to bring your lips back to the plumpness they once have. The same thing happens with nose. As those sphincter muscles, those little tiny layered muscles contract as if you open the curtains, they drag down the lower part of the nose downwards. And this is, it looks, that's why over time it looks that our nose droops. What do we need to do? We need to understand that everything in the face is connected. So before I'm gonna go to the nose, as always, I'm gonna start from very beginning. So our sphincter muscles are connected to our depressor muscles. What are depressor muscles? Depressor muscles are the ring down, the depression, think about depression. They bring downwards your lips. Depressor muscles are connected to our platysma. Platysma is connected to the chest, right? We know all that structure, how everything is interwoven and connected with each other. So what do you need to do to fix your nose? Now, if you are doing any of my programs, whether basic or extensive program, you're doing it already, but it's never a bad idea to refresh your memory. If you're my aesthetic student, you're definitely doing it. But if you're not, and you're a esthetician, and you wanna just break the game of facial up for yourself, if you wanna give them great result, this is one of the ways to make a difference uh, during the facial and when client will sit up, they'll be like, oh my God, look at my lips. So what do we do? 
if you are esthetician, then you're doing it naturally, right? You open the chest first, you give them lymphatic drainage and you go upwards, right? If you're doing exercises at home, you remember that your whole beauty is in your neck and your chest. So you're opening your chest and you're stretching your neck and now we are moving upwards. What do we do in this particular area? We massage right here underneath our nose. Why do we do it? It's because this area is barely touched Actually, even in a treatment room by estheticians, I've been working in many places. I've been seeing so many facial protocols, almost nobody, I correct myself. In my experience, nobody, when they show you a protocol for the facial massage in the treatment room, nobody tells you how to work with this area. This area is superbly important because once this is contracted, you're not gonna be able to leave the face and you're not gonna be able to replant the lips. So what do we do? We do our protocol, we go through the, you know, you start with chest, you go with the neck, you work with side, the other side, you go up, and you grab it right in here, right underneath the root of the nose, and you give it nice uh, movement. But basically, as if you're doing petrissage, and you grab, you know how you do petrissage? You pick it up and you walk through the muscle. The same idea, idea of petrissage. You grab it and you just bring it out and you start giving the blood flow to it, blood flow to this area. Once you're gonna do this, and if you are doing any of my courses, you're doing this already, but just to refresh your memory, and then you put one finger here, one finger here, and you bring it up towards the ear, down, back, and forward. So what we are trying to do in here, we're encouraging blood circulation in a place that it usually does not occur. And that's why it falls first, correct? That's why we have those lines on top of our lips, especially if you're a smoker. Now, if you're a person who had a nose job or rhinoplasty, this is so important for you because once they cut this area and bring the nose up, they, they do whatever they need to do, they sew it back together, but they don't teach you that if you're not going to, after about six months, massage this area, you're not going to have a blood flow there and your nose will start to droop and nasolabial, because everything is connected, going to start to droop too. So the nasolabial, again, I, I repeat myself so many times, but it's so important for me, for everybody to understand there is a, not a single muscle in our face that's disconnected from the rest of us. Everything is connected. That's why we work with a tendon helmet, right? Also to include everything in our practice. But when you work with the face to dismiss such an important area as a nose and lips, it's not doing, a quarter of your job is not done. And when your clients sit up, they, they see, you know, skin is uh, hydrated, but agree with me or disagree with me, you can do it in comments, products doing hydration for us. As estheticians, as far as skincare goes, we are covered. And clients can also buy phenomenal products to fix their skin, you know, to make it more hydrated, more skin, but not muscle. And even people who do shots like a Botox and fillers, again, they need to bring blood circulation to those areas to give life to those areas. It was Rasputin, who was a terrible person, historically known as a terrible person, but sometimes terrible people say right things too, right? He said that blood is life and blood flow is healing. So if you're missing the blood flow because if something was caught in your face and then restitch and because muscles didn't connect and muscles don't work in the same way, if you don't encourage blood flow with your own hands, you're not going to have a proper function of that soft tissue on your face and it's going to collapse. For your soft tissues on the face not to collapse, it's really not that hard. You'll have to give blood flow to it. So we're grabbing right here, we're starting to massage, then like this, like this, and up, 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 towards the ears, down, back, and forward. Next thing, we're grabbing the lip and we're bringing it forward. Forward. Use more, um, right now I have, uh, 
I don't have any cream. I mean, I have cream. Then I have a sunblock, then I have makeup. You know, I was going to do the video, so I did the whole shebang. But um, make, your, make your skin hydrated. Go forward, 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 forward. Then grab your lips sideways and work. You need to stretch that sphincter muscle they've been connected, they've been contracted. You need to stretch it. You will never be able to stretch the skin. Don't you worry. If anything, you will be lucky if you're gonna bring it back to original length of the muscle. You're not going to overstretch the muscles. It's physically impossible. Why muscle stretches? Because bone underneath the muscle shrinks. And that's why we're stretching. But it's not because we're doing any kind of manipulation. In fact, when we do manipulation, we bring the blood flow, we stretch the fascia underneath because fascia goes through all the soft tissues, correct? And top of heart tissue too. And what you do, you bring it back to original position. When your lips were the plumpest, when your nose was the cutest, right? So walk underneath, you can do the same thing. One, two, one, two. One, two, top, one, two, upwards. One, two, then you take sideways, walk. Amazing thing to do during the facial is to, again, touch sash, pinch upwards and bring it towards the ear. So you start patrissage from the middle and you're gonna bring it towards the ear. You do the whole side, you do the whole side, but include this. This, 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 and this is a half of the success of your facial. Literally. Try it in a facial room, see how you feel about it. Nose, always massage the side of the nose. Now, keep in mind one thing though. We hold the fluid in here, and here's our sinuses. Don't go deep on it. Because if you're gonna go deep on a lymphatic, um, accumulation, it's going to burst and you're not going to be able to drain it properly. So actually here, the hand is quite light. The hand is quite light, but muscle is engaged. So light hand, but we don't go on the skin. We feel the soft tissues and muscles underneath. On the eyes, side down, back, forward. Side down, back, forward. And this is how you're going to engage nose muscles, how you're going to drain the lymph in here, and how you're going to bring the sphincters into original position, and how you're going to give the plumpness to the lips and the narrowness and more sculpted look to your nose. And don't forget that nothing will work all by itself. We are connected everywhere. We're also emotionally connected. Our tissues respond to our emotions. In fact, the face responds to emotions, but this is subject to a completely different video. In this video, I want to emphasize this is the half of the success of your facial and half of your own success when you're doing at home to your facelift and plumpness. Blood has to circulate in our body absolutely everywhere. There is no place on our body that shouldn't be massaged to help yourselves with circulation. Because when we are young, we have a better circulation. We're getting a little older, you know, hormonally, everything goes down, but we can help ourselves. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it was understood. And if you are fetrissage, if you are professional, and remember that everything in here is connected to depressors, depressors to platysma. Connection, 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 connection. And once you will understand that, that all over connection, like all inclusive muscular involvement with each other, you're gonna get better job as in the facial, as a facialist, or you're gonna better have job at home. One more thing, I see that somebody just told me people do this um, on uh, Instagram a lot. Guys, it's not gonna get you anywhere. You do it for two seconds and then you leave it, boom. You have a bad posture, everything come back. Always bring it back. Your fingers have to touch. Always bring it back. You're gonna get so much better reaction that way and you're gonna be able to crack your neck too. Bring it backwards. That is helpful. Up to here, it's not. Because muscle cuts in here and the muscle in here connects upwards. So if you're gonna stop in here, it's going back. But if you release the 
awaken sleeping muscles in here and go back on your neck and you bring your shoulder back and you your chin is straight to horizon now you're going to have result undeniably so you cannot avoid result in that way but this it's just not gonna work it's just not gonna work so i hope this video was helpful to you as always and always happy to connect if you have questions please ask me underneath there was a lovely lady who wrote to me I, do, I don't know her name but i want just to say thank you uh, because this lady is i think 60 years old and she'd been doing these natural practices and she wrote to me that they weren't available before and uh, the hollywood actresses wouldn't share with with uh, people and she had to go to library and i was lucky enough my grandmother was a statistician and she had soviet books that were talking about muscles and how to work with them because i guess the country was impoverished and they only had natural methods that they could share with each other but they actually worked so there was one good thing about Soviet Union that that they used natural technique that actually work um, I'm very grateful to have those resources and read those books since I was a little little girl I was so interested and this lady said that they were not available in here and she had to go and research now so much is available I'm by far not the only one who is available including me there's so many people research learn see what works for you apply it on yourselves and you will see results and drink your water i had to say it in the end okay thank you so much i'm stopping right now and i will see you all in the next video